This week in maths, we're looking at division, but more than division, we're looking at what to do with our remainders. Now, let's have a look at this division question here. We're dividing a three digit number by a one digit number. So this is by means of revision from what we've done before. And I'll also show you what we do with the remainder. So first of all, we do three into five. Well, there's one three that fits into five and I have a remainder of two. So I carry that remainder of two over to the next number. Now the next number becomes 22. So now I'm doing three into 22. Well, I know from my times tables that seven times three is 21. That's as close as I can get without going over 22. So my answer is seven, which goes above. Seven times three is 21, but I want 22, so I've got one left over so my one remainder goes there now i've got three into 16 and i know that five times three is 15 and i have a remainder of one and that's how we do the division those of you who normally do the d sheets in class you will be doing the first set of questions which are like that let's have a look at another example I'm going to do 4 into 927. So we follow the same procedure. How many times does 4 go into 9? Well, it goes in twice because two lots of 4 equal 8. And I've got one remainder. So I put that one remainder on the next number. So now I've got 4 into 12. Well, I know that there are three fours in 12, exactly. Now I look at four into seven. Well, I can fit one four in seven and I have a remainder of three. But this time we're going to do something with the remainder. It isn't just three because it's not three whole ones. It is three remaining after we've divided by four, so it's three lots of four. So the remainder is a numerator. This number here, which we call the divisor, is the denominator. So you can see here the remainder is not three because if we think of it that way, we think it's three whole ones and it isn't. Our remainder is three quarters. So 927 divided by four is 231 and three quarters. Those of you who will be doing the second sheet are those of you who normally do the E sheet in class. I would be expecting you to be doing things like that. And for the last set, let's have a look at something a bit trickier. This time, we're going to be dividing by double digits. So 495 divided by 12. It's exactly the same procedure, but we just need to think a little bit more carefully about what we're doing, because this time we're doing 12 into our numbers. 12 into 4 doesn't go, so we carry our root 4 across to the next number. We're now doing 12 into 49. Now, if you're confident with your times tables, you will know that 12 times 4 is 48. So four twelves are 48 and I've got 49. So I've got one remainder and that goes there. And now I've got 12 into 15. Well, I know that 12 will fit once into 15 and I have a remainder of three. But as we've just learnt, that is not three whole ones. It is three out of 12. Now, some of these fractions can be simplified and we've looked at this before we need to look at the fraction and decide can I divide the numerator and the denominator by the same number thereby making the fraction a lot simpler well if I look at 3 over 12 they're both in the 3 times tables so I can divide them both by 3 I've got 1 3 and 3 and I've got 4 3's and 12 so it actually means a quarter 41 remainder 
a quarter. So for those of you who normally do a GD sheet, or if you've done the E sheet ones on this uh, this particular activity and you fancy giving the GD ones, the higher level ones, a crack, then this is what you will be coming up against. Double digits into three and four digit numbers. But I want you to look at this a little bit more closely as well. This is what I want you to do. But on some of them, you may be able to change the fraction to a decimal remainder. And I've chosen this one because that's exactly what we can do. So the answer to this one is 41. And it's a quarter. But what is a quarter as a decimal? I'm sure some of you can tell me it's one of those decimals you should know. A quarter as a decimal is 0 0.25. So this is 41 point a quarter to five. So those of you who are doing the GD sheets, I'd like you to give the answer with the remainder as a fraction, but there are some of them that you could tell me what the decimal remainder is as well. Not all of them, because if you get something like, let's say six over seven, as your remainder, you're not going to be able to tell me what the decimal is for that without a calculator, perhaps. But there are some of them that might have a remainder which could be a quarter or a half or three quarters. And I'd like you to tell me what that is as a decimal as well. So you've got three different versions on Seesaw. Those that are for children who usually work on the D sheets. Some that are for those children who work on e-sheets and those that are for those children who work on GD sheets. If you feel confident and you want to have a go at the next set up, then do that. But do make sure that you do these carefully and slowly and make sure you show those remainders properly.